Yeah, because this is an electrical issue, not a water issue. I can understand with the water issue. That was in the uh, the other guy's name. That was in the uh, uh, one of the owners' names. Yeah. Well, the water was involved too because the water was contaminated. How was the water contaminated? So the water is also involved. Oh yeah, sure. The water's involved, but the contamination's happening through the ground on the way to the house. Mm-hmm. But can I give you the name of my manager? Um, you can. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, what's that name? His, my manager is Patrick Tucker. What's the last name? Tucker. T-U-C-K-E-R. P-E-C-K-E-R? T. T like in Tom. Oh, T? Yes. And then what, what is it? U-C-K-E-R? Correct. U-C-K-E-R. Patrick Tucker. Correct. Okay, and then he's the... He's, uh, he's our manager for... For customer service. Manager for customer service. Yes, so he's my big boss. And that is that customer service for the call center? Hi. Pretty good, man. How you guys? I'm sorry? No. It's Phantom. I think it should be on the front. Like it went from six fifty to like five forty nine. Yeah. Where's the meter? The power comes in from there? Yeah, but the meter comes the meters in the back. So the meter's over there. Yeah, I'm gonna have them remove the meters right now. Yeah, yeah, but the meter comes the meters in the back. So the meter's over there. Yeah, I'm gonna have them remove the meters right now. Okay. okay, guys, you should get tetanus shots because of the exposure to Tetanus shots? Yeah, talk to your doctor. We don't have control over the water. You're going to need to determine why it was that turned off. Tony, down, right? Tony doesn't turn the water off. That's the way he did. Well, you know what? Let me let me think about that. You know, he Tony the water will do... Uh, he, the only, Tony can't. The only, he can only do a power hole, and a power hole doesn't affect the current tenants. I'm sorry? Uh, no. Hey, uh, hey man, this is, uh, you, you were just here at the house, 2194. Hey, listen, I, I don't know why you, you sit there and yell at me. You won't even let me, uh, uh, talk to you. And you over-talk me and you tell me things that are, are just way out there. Anyway, I got this bill. Um, uh, you know, I'll take care of it um, uh, based on, the, on, you know, my agreement. You know, it's not a problem. Anyway, there's still more stuff. You said you'd send people by to fix it. The toilet needs uh, to be uh, replaced. Uh, it barely works. The, uh, um, it's leaking underneath the floor. That needs to be torn up. It's just a solid mass. The shower, that needs to be uh, 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 done up and sealed. Uh, there's a few other things, too. I've already done a whole bunch, um, including roofs, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, and uh, the trees. So, you know, you say don't do anything. The other guy says, you know, your brother was here, and you won't even discuss that. I mean, you should, like, calm down. Well, I'll talk. It's not a problem. Okay? All right. Give me a call back. Bye. We've got to look at this file first. and Based on what we have and what information you provide so far, and see where you want to take this file. Do we want to look into it, or do we just kind of move on with this claim? Well, okay, well, here's the thing. I will tell you this, in no uncertain terms. This claim is based on fraud. 
your clients produce these damages at that property. Your clients turned their back and did nothing when they could have done something and, and, and stopped the damage right where it was. They didn't. They turned their back. And they allowed this to go on and on and on and on, negligently. Okay? I have over 50 letters. This went on for a period of months. In June, we moved, uh, when it came to July, by the time it was July 23rd, we were only able to go into that property one, maybe two hours at a time before we would get sick and then have to go away for a few days. Okay? Hazmat was there three, to four times. So other people were there, and that was from the off-gassing of the sewage and other things. It's a very, very, very toxic place, and it's very, very dangerous, and these guys know it, and they kept it that way. But for all the other details and all the other intimate facts, I'm more than happy to give you my stuff. I have detailed files. I have over 50... Yeah, I, I appreciate that because in order for me to send your information, I have to put together like a legal letter that has to pass by my manager. I just can't send, uh, you know, information out on behalf of the file and get involved uh, with you unless I discuss the file. So I don't know where the direction is. So I wish I could give you the answer, but I have to take the facts and talk to my manager about it. Okay, well, in, at any rate, that was, uh, you were looking at a remediation that was done halfway. The city came in, the health department pulled the power, pulled the water on the 23rd, right after you guys were there. They pulled the, uh, the services there, so I couldn't wash anything or decontaminate anything. Then the city said that the grounds were contaminated with hazardous materials. They gave me an order, ordering me not to touch anything, and that order stood for, I think it was 90 days, 92 days. I couldn't go in there and touch anything of that. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Couldn't do anything. Per law. They wouldn't disclose to me what the hazardous material was. They knew sewage had gotten everywhere, but they denied sewage. So I have that documentation as well. And you'll find that. Thank you very much for your time. I, I, mean, I appreciate your time. I will, um, I will get in touch with you. And if you feel that the window is closed, there's nothing I can do about it. If you feel like the what? Well, if you feel that the window is closed, or you feel like I don't have the window to get any information from you, then... No, I was just going to take off, man. It's a figure of speech. I, I am just... Listen, I, I've been, since for the last four months, I've been struggling with uh, aflatosis. Have you heard of that and mycosis? Do you know what that is? I've heard about it, but I don't know exactly Okay, well, that's after you get exposed to uh, certain types of uh, uh, deadly fungus, okay? Uh, one of them is called um, um, an aflatoxin. That's, that's, that's a nerve agent. They make uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction out of aflatoxins. Aflatoxins are made by um, um, aspergillus fungus. Aspergillus niger is in the backyard. And uh, what that does is it has two different, three different types of poisons in it. And one of them is an exopoison, exotoxin, and that's the stuff that melts everything. Right now, right now, if when an avocado drops and hits that back uh, cement slab, no animal will touch it. It'll sit there for about two days. It'll become en en engrossed with the fungus. This is uh, uh, the aflatoxin producing fungus. This, this is a nerve agent. And within four, four and a half, five days, no more longer than five days, that avocado is completely decimated. There's nothing left with it. There's no pit. It's just a picture. It looks like a, a negative on the ground. Tiny little bits of, of uh, black dust. That's it. Nothing left. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. And I've been around plants and trees for my life, my whole life. That's what you got going on there. Every bit of wood over there is getting eaten away. Everything, everything is getting eaten away by this fungus. There's, there's also live E. coli, live Staphylococcus, and live MRSA. That's uh, uh, treatment-resistant uh, um, um, staph disease that's going across the country. 
comes out of sewage and it spread, spreads fast. It's in the entire backyard. I've got lab reports if you want to see it. I'd be happy to show you. But that's what you're dealing with. And if you look at the, the remediation procedures, what I did is I did a revolutionary thing. No one has this technology. But I, I took the wood from the house that was black, jet black behind those walls and fuzzy and rotted. And what I did is I did a special treatment on it, and then I actually injected it with a propriety blend of uh, non-toxic minerals. The mold and the fungus will never again touch that wood, and the wood looks brand new. So I'd like to show you the before and after shots of that as well. You might be interested. Okay, so well, let, me, uh, let me let you go, and then I will keep in touch with you, okay? All right, and who are you with? State Farm Insurance. State Farm Insurance, okay. All right, thank you for your time, sir. All right, thank you. And, and please send me, send me the, uh, just send me, it, it can be informal, whatever. Okay, well, let me, let me discuss the file with the management, and then we'll, I'll, I'll give you a call if need be. Okay, it doesn't sound like you're going to ever talk to me again. Uh, I don't know. That's up to my manager. I have to run him with all the stuff that you told me today. That's a lot of information. Did they tell you that they're going to uh, tear the property down and build six new units? You know, I have no idea. I mean, that we didn't, we didn't, we're not insuring the future. We're insuring the right the now in the back house. So that's what we know, and so we have to sure. know what's in front of us. Sure, sure. And we're kind of trying to figure out what's, you know, what's, uh, what is consistent with what you're telling us. And well, not. I can. So we have got to get both sides of the story. We got to talk to Sammy and give him a chance to kind of uh, explain some of the information that we got from you today. So, um, well, you should, you should, it would probably be a lot, it would be a lot easier for Sammy to explain some of the information if you guys had some uh, documentation, wouldn't it? Sure, sure, I mean, I, well, I, I'll, 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 I like to get his side of the story, and then we can go. Yeah, you get his side of the story, but, uh, do call me back and uh, listen. I've been out of that house for uh, what's today's a little over almost a month now, almost an entire month. Okay, the uh, I have concerns with it because the the health department they know they've all been the half the city has been given uh, these these uh, reports and what have you, but the stuff in the backyard is flying in the air and it's going across the city and one of the things that's in there are I can show you a couple things, uh, and you can just look at it, go from A to B to C to D to E to F. And like I said, you have to be thankful to us, we appreciate that. But otherwise, the world can be fine. Okay? We don't have a problem with it. We don't have a problem with it. You've already been there and inspected it. Yeah. And you had before pictures from uh, it's the late September, right? Yeah, so we have it in July and I took some photos that was out there on Tuesday. Oh, you were just out there? Yeah, I'm not going to keep it. Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, I actually lost my wallet um, somewhere while I was in July and I took some photos that was out there. Jim, Jim, Jimmy, I 
each favor. Do yourself a favor. Bring it down. Do, do, do. Uh, So all the sewage in the ground, okay, that's just like you know, wave stuff, and it's like, uh, do you guys test it or anything for a public hazard? Cause nope. To get, what do you do? Just leave it there? Yep. We'll deal with the, with the owner of it. Not a public hazard as long as there's nobody here. What about the... No, I understand. I understand. Listen, I just got a question for you. Now we're we're not we, we haven't we're not prejudiced in any way uh, about uh, collecting our damages, right? Yes. One thing. Now we're, we're not we're not uh, we're not prejudiced against. Uh, okay, we didn't give up our rights and stuff because when I read the.
that for you. Now we're, we're we're not prejudiced in any way. I got I got I got a, a quick. We're not prejudiced in any way. And I understand. Listen. Yes. I'll be for you. Now we're we're not we we haven't. I want to deal with this fact because it's too late. Okay. No, I understand. I understand. Listen. I just got a question for you. Now we're we're not we we haven't we're not prejudiced in any way uh, about uh, collecting our damages, right? Yes.